Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Fusion node breakdown. Today's node is the Dent node. Now the Dent node pretty much creates a circular like deformation on your uh, media, kind of like a fisheye does. So let's jump in here and let's actually grab some other media so you can see what's going on. And let's search for the Dent node. Now the node itself uh, gives you this locator right here, which is your center. And we'll bring this up so you can see what it's doing. And over here, we can change our dent type. We've got dent one, kaleidoscope, dent two, dent three, cosine dent, and sine dent. And you can change your size, make it bigger or smaller. And you can change the strength of it. So all this is keyframeable. So we can say, go to the beginning and drop our strength. Go to the end, raise our strength. And we get that type of pattern. And again, with the size, we can change it. So we can make some cool patterns and change your type. So if we play this back, now we get that crazy thing going from this media. And you can use this for whatever you need to make patterns, to make various looks, I guess. So you could technically, uh, what we can do is we can take this and let's grab some media and some other media. And let's look for our dissolve node. Dissolve. There we go. And we can pump in our media. And we can bring this into our gradient input. And right here, we can keyframe this to switch. And if we look at this, now we've got that kind of going. And if we change our dissolve to our gradient wipe, now we've got this crazy dissolve going. And to soften it up a little bit, we could throw a blur on it. Blur it up a little bit. So you can do stuff for like transitions or you can, what maybe we got here? Oh, we can add a dent here. Dent. And we could uh, say, go on our eyeball. Let's watch what we're doing. And let's change the size because you can resize it right here. Stick it on our eye. copy that we'll stick it down here and move it to her other eye so now she's got some freaky eyes going and like I said you can uh, animate all this stuff so we can animate our position Same with this one, animate our position. And now we've got an image with some creepy eyes. So that is the dent node. I'll see you in the next node breakdown.